Hello again, I'm just working on this snowblower here. It's uh, It was a freebie, so I'm just having a quick look at it. I don't think it's going to be a runner. The motor is, I'm going to keep the motor. Um, it's got very little compression, which isn't really that big of a deal. But I noticed that this little pulley here <coughs> was was loose. I guess the, the set screw, right where my finger is, got loose and it, uh, it's wore itself right back into the casing. And I don't know if you can hear this or not, but when I turn it over, let me just get here and try. A little on the downstroke there on the it's uh, getting past the seal that's that was in here. So I mean, each item on its own isn't that big of a deal, but <clears throat> add it all together. I mean, this blower it's not gonna fetch any real money so it's all rusted out but uh there's lots of parts off it so I think I'm gonna uh, strip it of what I need and I'm gonna save some of it <clears throat> um, these track drives are pretty pretty interesting uh, this one actually the, all the linkage was seized underneath so I got it freed up but like I say I just sort of it's been sitting I guess for a few years outside so I'm just looking at it um, I have a little motor over there that uh, I can use this carb for. So there's like, you know, it'd be a good donor motor, I think. Or maybe I'll just put another end casing on there. I don't know. I think it's destroyed the area where the seal goes. But anyways, that's what I'm doing tonight. Just messing around. I'm going to get to work. I'm going to pull this motor off. And uh, I've got all the parts uh, will bend here. So... <clears throat> I'm going to actually pull the motor, then put it back together and store it. It'll be useful someday, I'm sure. So you got the five long bolts. Short one, short one, and the exhaust hanger. Now again, I'm not going to torque this up or anything. When I took this out, this was tough to get out. This was like um, uh, all corroded all the way down. I was probably like 20 minutes getting that one bolt out. I'd run it down, then run it back, run it down, run it back, and I hit, kept hitting it with penetrating oil. And finally, at about 20 minutes, <clears throat> it came out. So you'd want to chase that with a tap, you know, of course, that hole after, make sure it's good and clean. I'm just going to throw my plug in just to keep it clean in there. Like I said, I'll go over later and tighten everything up. I'm just trying to get the motor together and out of the machine. Put our two bolts in to hold the muffler on. Another bolt in the top here has to go. Again, you know, understand I'm not uh, trying to make this thing run tonight. I'm just putting the parts back on. Switch sockets to a half inch. I'm going to just tighten down some of these. Okay, so all the bolts are out, the belts are off, I had to move these uh, little belt keepers out of the way. We can just go ahead and lift this motor off now. Okay, so we got this thing on its nose now. Um, I'm going to be pulling a few cables off it, just those adjustable cables there. They're, they're handy for some of these snowblowers. If you ever had to adjust one of these tracks or remove one, they're pretty straightforward. You take the outer plate off there. 
Uh, there's a track adjustment. There's a, it's like an eccentric plate. I'll try to zoom in on it here. You just turn that to the right. And it backs up against the plate on the bottom there. Tensions up the track. Pretty straightforward. But the tracks are all weather cracked and they're on their way out, so I don't think it's worth keeping. If anybody needs anything off this thing, I'll have it here in my scrap pile for about two weeks or so, then I'm going to do a run. So if you see anything you want, feel free to email me and we'll uh, get it out to you somehow. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.